The Wake County Sheriff is fighting back over some criticism over his dealings with the family of murdered deputy Ned Byrd and the office's canine unit. New controversy now has surfaced over a behind the scenes document from the funeral home after Byrd was killed in the line of duty last month. WRL investigates Cullen Browder first reported on the job changes with that unit. He's here now with some new information. Cullen. So Dan, WRL investigates obtained a document from prior to Deputy Byrd's funeral telling the funeral home to return the murdered officer's uniform and personal effects. Word of that and the sheriff's reassignment of three canine officers who worked with Byrd have stirred a lot of controversy. As we reported last night, one of those deputies who was demoted presented the flag from Byrd's casket to Byrd's sister at the family's request. So so here is the document we're talking about, asking the funeral home to return Deputy Byrd's uniform and other property of the sheriff's office. A handwritten note on that paperwork from the funeral home worker says, you can cut the shirt and pants if needed. A funeral home employee told WREL that directive came from the sheriff's office. Ultimately, didn't happen. Bird was cremated in the uniform and his personal effects went to the family. Sheriff Baker, nor the major whose name is on that piece of paper, responded directly to my questions this morning about the document. But later this afternoon, Sheriff Baker released the statement that reads in part, the family of Deputy Ned Bird and his memory have throughout this tragic ordeal been treated with the utmost respect by me and his office. Now, Deputy Byrd's family is expected to address the media following an event to honor Byrd tomorrow, and it's expected they'll address their dealings with the sheriff, the shakeup in the canine unit, and the murder investigation. Of course, Dan, WREL will be there to hear what they have to say. All right, keep us updated. Thanks, Colin.